Teshkil is an artist resource space that caters to the art and design community living in Dubai and, and the Emirates. We're made up of a gallery space where we have uh, exhibitions throughout the year, um, studio spaces for artists to come use uh, the equipment to create their art and design, and uh, workshops throughout the year for people to learn new mediums and techniques and practices. But what makes us different from other galleries uh, in the city is I think we're the only um, space equipped with studio facilities like a dark room and a printmaking studio and a textile studio. Um, so it's, it, there, is a, there is the commercial aspect where we have a gallery but there's also the functional community-based aspect. Air Dubai 2013 is yet another project that we work um, on um, that caters to the UA art scene here. So we work alongside the Delfina Foundation, Art Dubai and Dubai Culture and Arts Authority bringing international artists and introducing them to the UAE art scene here and the UAE community. The residency program is special this year because of the uh, international uh, partner that we have, the Delfina Foundation, we're based in London, in the uh, UK. And we also have uh, art, international artists coming from different you know, countries that we've never worked with before. My name is Aaron Cesar. We are currently in the home of Delfina Foundation, uh, which facilitates artistic exchange between artists, curators, and writers from the Middle East and North Africa. I first met Delfina for a cup of tea. You know, an artist who she had in residence 20 years ago asked me to meet with her because she was setting up this new foundation. I mean, the thing with me, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't care very much about the art in itself. What I care is about the artist. That my it's like an extension of my family. Our primarily a residency program, um, which invites artists from across the region to London. And also as another aspect of our program, we also send international artists to the Middle East and North Africa. The Dubai Culture and Arts Authority mainly um, help and support the Emirati artists who are part of the residency program. The Dubai Culture and Arts Authority is a part of the culture and the culture in the Emirati. And it is a part of the support. وتثقيف وتطوير المهارات الفنية والثقافية وتأكيد أن هذا مشروع إير أن تكون من طرف حي دبي ثقافة فنون دعم لفنانينا والحركة الفنية الموجودة في إمارة دبي وتكوين العلاقة الثقافية والفنية بين الفنانين الموجودين في الإمارة في الإمارة نقدر نقول وبين الفنانين الموجودين حول العالم. تشكيل is the local network. They they began you know about five years ago. Right around the time that Delfina Foundation actually began. Tashkil, we're, we're more the hands-on practical people, so we help them uh, with uh, practical support materials, um, recommending places to uh, buy materials. Uh, they can even come to our space and use our facilities to create their work. Uh, so yeah, we all have our special roles to play. Art Dubai is uh, it's a commercial-based art fair that's happened for the last few years in Dubai. It's, it's a well-recognized international art fair, so it's a lot of international galleries and local galleries um, are just there to promote their, you know, their spaces, sell their works, promote their artists. And by giving artists a three-month period to engage with Dubai, engage with the city, get used to the fair venue, and, and really kind of have time to come up with their ideas, this has been exceptionally beneficial to the project's program. As the residency goes on and as the UAE kind of develops and as Dubai de develops as a cultural centre, that there are more and more artists coming up from the local community, from uh, local and Emirati national uh, community. And this year particularly we had a ton of fantastic applications, so it was quite a tricky decision to, to choose the three. There was a panel basically uh, who looked at all the um, application forms. Uh, it, it, was, it involved Dubai Culture and Arts Authority, Tashkil Art Dubai. As a group, we select the, all of the participating artists for Air Dubai, which include three international artists, three Emirati artists, alongside an international curator. Dina Danish uh, is an Egyptian uh, mixed media artist. Her, her practice is very diverse. Uh, she's based in the Netherlands, uh, so she's an interesting character. She has that uh, regional you know, influence uh, as well as the Western influence in her practice. My work is not medium based, it's a matter of skills. احنا في امستردام هنا في في بيتي وبشتغل هنا في نفس الوقت. I was trained as a painter, but I've been doing different works such as video, performance, drawings, sculptures, writing. I 
right now we're at the Rijks Academy. It's a residency program, a two-year residency program. This year was my studio, my very first studio for the first year. My work uh, changed quite a bit since I've, uh, I've come here to uh, Amsterdam. It's a given that you're influenced by uh, your surroundings, but mostly also by uh, your peers as well. It's very great for uh, Dubai to have uh, Dina as a, as a resident uh, for, uh, for this, uh, this residency period. She uses her uh, intelligence and her, uh, her own experience for uh, doing something very interesting and I'm very happy that she's going to work in, in the Middle East again after being away for, uh, for quite some time. Beirut is a very noisy city. The fact like living in Beirut, there's a million noises. And painters are drawn to, to colors, I'm drawn to, to sounds, working with sounds and the colors of sound. The kind of psychology we have around sound and how it affects us. Something that I was just naturally attracted to. I used to live by the Corniche, so I spent a lot of time there. Hello, beautiful listeners of the Infosphere. This is Joe Nami, aka Electric Kahraba. That all begins with a sample. I hear a clip, uh, it's usually like a short clip or something like that, and for whatever reason, it, it inspires me to want to do something with it. Just whatever, trying to hawk any kind of goods on the street. I mean, it could be anything. I enjoy it a lot. A lot of my inspiration comes from just hearing, hearing a sound and being intrigued by that sound. But it's always around... Oh, why does that sound, how does that affect us in a way? There's kind of like this, this subculture of people who go there, just like park their cars and just hang out on the corniche as their car stereo is like playing music that they like. It comes from like Dapke, it comes from you know, this very traditional musical style here, but it's creative and really powerful music. So I, what I did was create a mix, kind of, uh, like a, a mixture of field recordings and then like my own compositions uh, using sampled sounds from, from those. transforming that sound into something else, basically. So taking that chunk of the past and then seeing what I can do with it to make it relate to where I'm at right now. I've heard Dubai is a very quiet city, a silent city. It's an uh, avant-garde city, yeah. So I'm just interested in, in kind of experiencing that and seeing where that takes me. There's a big difference between what I'm imagining and the reality of Dubai. Probably it will be completely different from what I'm imagining in my head. The Air Dubai residency takes place over three months, from January to March. All artists will show their work in Al Fahidi historic neighborhood in House 11, which is where the actual residencies take place for the artists. منطقة حي الفهيدي تعتبر منطقة تاريخية النمط المعماري النمط البنيان فيه مختلف وحتى النمط التاريخ الموجود فيه فبتكون مجال ممتاز للزائر إنه يشوف جانب مختلف من من إمارة. There's a certain pace in Al Fahidi neighborhood that kind of encourages thinking and thinking about the future because Dubai started from this particular site. I 
try to understand what is the culture here. It's, it's an acrobat. It's acrobat. It's very circus. We can make everything in here. The inspiration that I see in here, what happened before, uh, what's going on in here before, is a lot of imagination. Yudi Noah was first exposed to audiences in the UAE at the last Art Dubai, when some of his work was shown with his gallery, Nettie Horn. And it was an amazing kind of critical response to this is very insightful pieces from like, urban landscapes. Ibtis Aziz is a well-known Emirati artist uh, from Sharjah. Her studio is there. She's also part of the Emirates Fine Arts Society. Uh, she's taken part in the Venice Biennale uh, for the Emirates Pavilion, uh, which is a big achievement, I think, for her. I think that a artist is working in conceptual art. المكان اسمه بيت الشامسي أو رواق شارق الفنون فيها إيحاءات فيها وحي فني في المنطقة أني أنا كفنانة عايشة في هالمنطقة من من هالمكان أنا استوحيت وحصلت فرصة أني أنا أنتج وأفكر بطريقة جدا إيجابية خدمة أعمالي أكثر شيء شارجة أن الثقافة اللي موجودة فيها يمكن تخليني دائما أني أنا في في تسارع في في استمرارية في حركة ديناميكية تأثر فيني أنا كفنانة في إنتاجي نفسه فكرة يمكن جديدة بالنسبة لي إني أنا أشتغل مع كريتر ومع فنانين فنانين من الدولة فنانين من خارج الدولة شيء مهم بالنسبة للفنان وخصوصا أنا يمكن من الشخصيات اللي ما سبق لي إني عملت رزيدنسي برا وما سافرت كثير. فشيء زين ان العالم يجي لين عندي انا احب اني بين فتره وفتره اطلع من الاستوديو لما احس نفسي يمكن مضغوطه او مزاجي يحتاج اني انا اطلع الى فسحه او مكان كبير اصعد فوق في الروف يكون البحر قدامي المينا عمر العطار is a photographer that we've uh... Kept our eyes on for a very long time. He's also uh, offered uh, workshops at Tashkil. And he's just been developing his practice with analog photography, um, just you know, documenting the Emirati uh, culture here, uh, things that we could look back at, for, you know, for future generations to come. بديت تصوير سنة تقريبا فين ستة. بديت في كل المجالات التصوير. بعدين تخصصت في الدوكيمنتري فوتوغرافي. من ابرز طبعا المحطات طبعا في 2012 عرضوا لي كوادرو ارت جاليري في سيريز البراير روم واحده من ابرز المحطات يعني كنت بوصل للجمهور ان يعني مهما كان المكان مهما كان زخرفه المكان او بساطه الهدف واحد الهدف هو الصلاه يعني انا دائما احب يعني يكون في تصويري في له مثلا رساله معينه ولا هذا ففي مثل شغف في التصوير لي يعني هالشيء خلاني ان انا بدون اي دراسه ولا بس مع تعلمت نفسي بنفسي يعني ويعني وطورت نفسي انا اشوف يعني في التصوير هذا. عمار اند ريم اي ثينك هاف سمثينغ ريل تو توك اباوت ذي شير سمثينغ ذاتس ريل اند ترو اند جينيوين ذا ريل بيبل اوفر هير ذا ريل سيتويشنز ذات هابن ايفن اف از ذا سمبلست ثينغز ذي They, they communicate that, and I think that's really something important to share to people that don't necessarily uh, get exposed to it. There are a few places in the city where I can go and people had, would tell me I've been here for over 20, 30 years. Some also have been here before the Union, before 1971. Deirao is one example of one of the greatest places people should visit and just interact. I do feel obligated to tell their stories because they are part of the city, part of its makeup. I'm standing now and I'm spending different kinds of spices coming from all directions. I love the voices. You hear the different tongues. You hear Iranian, Indian, Pakistani, Arabic, English. I took a main portrait of the people working here and their personal objects. I mean, 
it's like a, at the same time it's touristic and at the same time you can feel the history. The selected international curator is Bernice Salio, who's French, based in Marseille. I'm here to work closely with the artists, so I'm accompanying them through their projects. Um, essentially for Air Dubai, she's in a way the critical friend for the residents, both the international artists and the Emirati artists. This is flavor used for high blood pressure. Yeah. This is come from Iran, the best quality. Incense, incense. Okay. The statue. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> this year, uh, rather than having uh, one artist, one studio set up, we've really decided to engage with the context and have a much more organic presentation. All the artists are going to show their work a way that allows like a circuit along and within the house but also very interesting interactions among the works. Some artists have even collaborated together on different works. Uh, Dina's practice is very different and, uh, than before and we haven't worked with anyone like that in prior uh, residency programs. Uh, so yeah, she, she's an interesting character to have uh, on board this year. At Sika, I'm presenting a video here in this room of uh, an aquarium. It's called Life from the Aquarium. A sports commentator is commenting on the movement of people and their interaction with the Dubai Mall Aquarium, the huge one. Basically, I started out inspired by uh, the architecture of uh, Art Dubai just because it looked kind of similar to a stadium. And then, you know, this is how I got the idea of uh, working with a sports commentator in general. The, the trick in this one is to, like, the way, the voice, you know, the sound yeah. of describing it would be as... Excited. As enthusiastic as a football match. What I was thinking is that maybe uh, we can go outside right. uh, in a crowded area or something and we can just practice there so that you know, sure. like bit we'll by bit it, it gets a bit clearer what I'm uh, talking about. We have three teams, Natrin and Amit are working on us. Natrin is going to open the door. The third one wants to share the idea. Some of them are looking at the right and the right. It starts to open the door and the shape of the door. The shape of the door is going to open the door. It's going to open the door. Exactly what he's say, seeing is supposed to be described as properly as possible. Uh, then also to work on his uh, voice, so that his voice is uh, so that he can relate two things that are not connected to each other. Back again to the pedestrian line. Do you think she can make it faster than the first time? She's pointing one direction, the other one is pointing the other direction. He seems to be wondering where is home. Yes, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I hope it works out well. Eftisam has been researching about the place and the history of the house and how it used to be. Uh, while I'm walking in uh, the Stakia area, the wall of the old Dubai attracted me. Mm -hmm. What attracted me in this uh, signboard is the circle yeah. that's um, showing the, the location of the, uh, the, wall, the wall of the old Dubai. The power that this wall played in the history by protecting the Dubai from any outside danger. Uh, and now it's uh, itself, it become just a wall, a useless wall. Mm -hmm. So I thought of... Um, making uh, another wall inside this room which is facing the, the actual wall. Okay. It's funny, it's like a fake old wall. So... Good. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> you want ketchup? I found out that this old wall used to pass by house 11 so I decided to choose that studio, which is kind of facing the wall, and able to build the new wall. I think during the Sikka uh, thing, I'll keep the windows open, so the old wall will be kind of exhibited in the same room, so they can see how it was there and inside the house. When I start the residency, 
program, I noticed that this area, the name of this area was changed from Al Bastakia to Al Fahedi. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not familiar with the, the mm -hmm. new name. Mm -hmm. I decide to uh, do a performance mm -hmm. where I can uh, listen to a very simple question, which is what's the name of this area? And the answer will be Al Fahedi, which is the new name. So you would l listen to someone saying Al Fahedi? Yes, Al Fahedi. And you would and try, be, to try to write Al Bastakia. Al -Bastakia. I'm learning something in you, but at the same time, I'm fighting myself not to get affected but by this voices, so I'll write Al Bastaki instead. I like Al Bastaki. المشروع اللي بشتغله في برنامج فنان المقيم في دبي عن الماء السبيل موافير الماء هاي الكولرز اللي موجوده برا على البيوت وبرا على المساجد وفي مثلا حصلت في الصناعيه حصلت في اماكن مثلا غير البيوت اللي في اماكن صناعيه مثلا قلت انا حطيتها لان اشوف وايد عمال في الصيف كيف يعني كيف يحسون بالحراره وهذا فيوني يشربوا الماء ياخذون في ناس يجون مثلا شوي يشربون في ناس لا ياخذون دبات ماي ويشربون ويدون وياهم فهل التواصل بين يعني الشخص نفسه اللي حاط البراد وال والشخص اللي جاي اللي يشرب الماي شد انتباهي من الموضوع انا احاول اغطي جانبين جانب اللي هو الناس اللي يجون ياخذون الماي وبين من هالجانب يعني كيف ان يعني في ناس وايد محتاجين في ناس في عندنا وايد شريحه كبيره من العمال وهذا لا تحتاج الماي هذا في نفس الوقت بعض البيوت يحاولون يسوون يعني يزينون البراد بطريقه ان تناسب مع شكل البيت نفسه في ناس لا يحطون لك بس اللي هو البايب اللي طالع من البراد نفسه كمسلمين احنا عندنا الصدقه مهمه في حياتنا ليش لان من الصدقه نحصل الحسنات والحسنات يعني عندنا تكفر السيئات في نفس الوقت اكلم الناس اللي حاطين الماء السبيل هذا اقول مثلا ليش حاطنا مثلا هل صدقه لحد معين لشخص معين مثلا في بعض مثلا بعض الاماكن في الشارج مثلا هذا في عندهم جهه وقفيه ان هي تقدر تبرع لهم وتحط يحطون البراد فالبرادات المحطوطه هناك مزخرفه بطريقه اسلاميه طبعا يعني مثل اللي هو المتجه له الشارج دائما bringing Joe to Dubai it will be interesting to see how he develops his sound projects based on the sounds and uh, you know the elements he finds in Dubai and in the region for Sika I'm doing three different projects basically three three elements um, that all kind of tie together very loosely one the sound piece with Amar uh, the sound piece to Amar's uh, videos which is the, the subconscious kind of sounds a collage of these sounds with my own kind of interpretations mixed together شفت المكان وايد زحمه فجت جت فكره ببالي اني اصور الفيديو المكان هذا طبعا عن طريق التايم لابس ان كل براد فيه له صوت مميز يعني عشان لان البراد هذا عشان يتم بارد الماي فيه في مثل الكولر الجهاز هذا اللي يبرد الماي في صوت دوم
in the same room is the time lapse videos and then the soundtrack uh, will fill the, the space of the room. Basically just like a two channel, two speaker sound piece that's gonna be projecting the sound into the room, accompanying his videos. My project for Sikka Art Fair is I am documenting stories of the people around the Khor area. I'm covering Deira and Bar Dubai. It starts just simple. The research process is just me walking around, talking to the people here. And they are very friendly. They open up very quickly, willing to tell me about their personal lives, inviting me just to sit down with them in their stores for Karak. السلام عليكم شو اخبارك؟ انت وايد تشبه التقي انت تقي ولا اخو احمد؟ شو اخبارك؟ The conversation tends to start from I guess the basic question is how long have you been here for؟ لا هذا السنة من زمان تقريبا سبعينات هذا السنة اشتريت لا من زمان هذا السنة اه هدية هدية There is no specific thing I look for it could be just a random object that's hanging around their store what usually grabs my attention is just their kindness and willingness to just speak about it, welcoming me in. He didn't say much, he was very quiet. So I kept asking him questions. I saw a drawer next to him. Can you open that? Can I see if you have anything? Best Maktoub Shoe, 1973, 1972. It is like for me, I hope I can map the area and then invite people to go visit them in their store. And of course, during the exhibition time, I'd invite the store owners. I will only exhibit the items in the gallery space. Next to the items, there will be a publication with the people's photos and full stories in there. Because the residency house is located in the Al Fahidi neighborhood, um, the exhibition will take place over there during the course of the Sikka exhibition, Sikka Art Fair. That's the platform that's given to uh, the residency artists. Looking at fish is, uh, is you know, is, uh, it's entertaining, but it's a quite banal act. Uh, doesn't really have uh, uh, a specific meaning or uh, the, the movement of people looking at a certain thing. It, it doesn't have a specific structure, and I thought it's, uh, it took it to a different level of absurdity. I think that is also quite interesting. Floating off to the right-hand side in tandem. Two in the top left of the aquarium, also going together. All the little fishes are bunched together, perhaps for protection. There's two scuba divers also in there as well, feeding the tank. We shall. I'm amazed by the amount of trust the, these people gave me. For example, this guy, I visited him a number of times and the next time I was there he brought in his photo album that dates back to 1983. I don't feel that there are enough people interacting with them, conversing with them, asking them who are you, where did you come from, why are you here, um, I'd like to know more about you. Joe again kind of reflects a different practice compared to Yuri and also to Dina as well. His practice is very experimental, very much inspired by what's around him in, in the everyday, but also by popular culture and popular music. It's a dance floor uh, and the dance floor will respond to the music. Most of the mixes here, what I really like about them is that they're very reflective of the society. 
And so you have like Emirati music, you have Arabic pop, you have American pop, and you have Indian pop, and some Iranian pop too. So the image, I wanted to add another layer to the, to the piece. The one that's on there right now is mainly just a study. Um, this clip is taken from a movie, Paris is Burning. Like I envision like one person coming into the exhibition and just kind of like exploring the dance floor themselves. Like I want them to like go wild by themselves or something. You know? So now we are going to open the mysterious room number six, which is Yudi Noor's studio. Please follow me. Yudi is the artist who is uh, talking the more about himself, I think, in the residency. But actually everything makes sense to him, everything is really meaningful and nothing has been left to chance or nothing is random. All Yudi's work is really about collecting things, is finding around, you know, but things is encountering by chance, such as documents, objects, bits and bobs, you know, and he really um, assembled them and, you know, make them together to create objects. Yudi is a sculptor. He's the only sculptor in the show. So I'm sitting on Yudi's bench. Uh, he's been designing two benches like that. And for this, he's been collaborating with local carpenters that he's found. And he's been really like uh, interacting quite closely with them. Why well, he's not around? I think Yudi does not really like cameras. Uh, he's been like a... I call it electric improductible Yudi, you know, because he's like, uh, he's slippery, you know, he never, he's never where you expect him to be, he's never going to say what you expect him to say. Things do get lost in translation, but I think they did get that this is just all about you. And even when they walked in, seeing different, like there is a Hindu god next to his photo, his photo, and then next to a dua, and we we're just saying that like, this is what the area is all about. <laughs> Let's go apologize now. Sorry, bye. Stay on this for like hours. <laughs> so this wall was uh, from the last year residence, so India wall. They were already here. But then they have already holes in everywhere. Mm. So this was my imagination. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> how how random the holes in everywhere? How is it? So what is what this meaning? It was a sign. Right. So it's the line. It's journey for me. Ah. The Amar Latar's photography, it's really great to see how his work has developed over the past few years because I know him and I've been following his work. So it's really great to see him part of this residency this year and how his work has evolved. I love the uh, video projection of the time lapse videos of the water cooler. <laughs> Like you know, it's, it's, it's amazing how the, the artists start to search about the house itself. Mm. Yeah, and they do artwork uh, about it. Yeah, I love the wall in um, Amsterdam Studio. Yeah, I love it too. It's so amazing to see what um, they've done this year. It's really different from what we did actually. I think they've all really worked together more and like really gone into the history of the area. It's kind of interesting too, though, how some of the works have resonances with things that we were doing last year as well. The whole engaging with artists and artwork is a rare thing because it's a very, you're in a gallery, there's a gallery space and certain people go there. But I think with this uh, residency, it's gone definitely beyond the artist uh, space only and uh, the way I think Reams interacted and spent time with people and invited them to come here and, and that's wonderful.
Well, Nasser Nasrallah was also an artist in residence in 2012. He's also now become part of the Sharjah Biennale this year. He's commissioned to do a project for them. And he's showing here at Art Dubai with Tashkeel, with obviously our, our partners in the residency program as well. And he's kind of created these vending machines of stories, which is very much kind of Nasser's work. He's always worked in illustration as well as many different kind of mixed media. And I think he's one of those artists that was making great work, but before the residency, he was perhaps sort of doing his own thing and felt slightly isolated. And through the residency, he was able to interact with other artists and the curator that we've, we had during that year and sort of develop um, great ideas and really kind of develop his practice in a really new dimension. And since then, we've just seen him take off. I got number 43. And... Um... <laughs> This one من وقت الريزيدنسي في سكه العام الماضي في هذاك الوقت اكتشفت ان مجال الستوري تيلينج انا اقدر اعطي فيه كثير everybody's been um, particularly entranced by Dina Danish's film in which she has sports commentary running over footage of the fair and I mean this is a very typically kind of sharp and witty project from her and she's also taken a section of seating from the Medina uh, Jumeirah Arena Hall and kind of repositioned it on the beach next to the sea and people can sort of look out on the on the sea as a kind of three-dimensional projection from their own. Yudi Noor has really kind of taken his experience of being in the Al Fahidi neighborhood and all the advertising billboards that exist around that neighborhood and all the fabric shops and the kind of markets and souks and transported that to Art Dubai and also taken on this idea of the kind of VIP rope which is at every event and every kind of art fair worldwide and created his own little sort of dimension to the fair in, in that way and also taken over one of the Abra that is in the uh, kind of lake next to Medina Jumeirah and uh, created these kind of figures that are traders from the, the souks in uh, Burj Dubai here at Medina Jumeirah as well. So sort of linking those two neighbourhoods in a, a very kind of engaging way. I want to combine that with um kind of street dance, which has a very similar format as well, like battle dance basically, like hip hop dance. Uh, kind of a mix between the two in a sense, using the music from the, the shabby, you know, the shabby music and then this new kind of dance as well. One line, one line, that's it. One line. So uh, over here, over here. <laughs> it was amazing, it worked really well. Like, yeah. uh, people clapping, people moving, people, you know, seeing like action. And, uh, and it really activated the space, which is, I don't know, that was the plan from the beginning. It's been great. I mean, I really loved my stay here in Dubai. It's been a, a learning experience. I'm really happy to get a chance to know a lot of the artists in the program. And, I think I worked really well with the Emirati artists in specific as well. Uh, I'm going to miss it, but I hope I come back soon. Better than I could have imagined. It's just like uh, magic. The future of Air Dubai, I think, will just get bigger and better. Uh, if, we're, uh, if we're able to take in more artists, uh, we will. Uh, again, just learning from past experiences and working, developing on that uh, is something important as well. So I think uh, the Air Dubai will continue and it'll be stronger and hopefully it'll be something that can uh, expand and grow.